Hi everyone, it's the English Simmer here and welcome back to my channel. Today, I want to talk about the Elgato Key Light. So as you guys know, I am sponsored by Elgato and they recently gifted me one of their newest products, the Key Light. For those of you who don't know, the Key Light is an LED light for content creators and streamers. So in the box, you get the LED panel, you get a desk lamp and you also get the power adapter, which is the only cable that you will need for this light to work. This light actually connects to your Wi-Fi and therefore you don't need any other cables. I will talk about the Stream Deck integration a little bit later on and trust me, it is so clever. So as you can see, I don't have a lot of room when it comes to my recording setup. I actually work out of my bedroom, which is why in the past I have never had any form of professional lighting whatsoever. I always found that soft lights were always far too big for the space that I was working in, which is why the key light comes in so handy. You can just clamp this to the back of your desk or the side of your desk and it takes up zero space. Unfortunately, I did find out that I couldn't clamp this onto the back of my desk as I have drawers underneath and the clamp wasn't deep enough to actually clamp on to the back. So I instead clamped it onto the side of my desk, which probably means in the future, I am going to have to get my hands on a second light so that there is no shadows, especially if I start using a green screen. It is recommended that you actually have two key lights if you do use chroma key with a green screen or else there will be a shadow if you are only using one light. From there you get the panel and you attach that to the top of the stand, plug in the power lead to the back of the LED panel and then plug that into your power source near your PC and that is the setup complete. From getting this key light out of the box to having it all set up and ready to go took me about three minutes to build. So it's a super easy setup. I promise you, if I can do it, then anybody can do it. I have yet to stream using my key light. However, I have had it on in the background just whilst I've been working on editing and things like that today. And I can assure you, this thing produces next to no heat. Just like Elgato's other products, the key light actually has its own software, which is known as the Elgato Control Center. You can download this from Elgato. Elgato's website and this is where you will need Wi-Fi to initially set up your key light. After the initial setup, the control center then becomes your hub for your key light. This is where you can mess around with the brightness and also the temperature of the LEDs. In my personal preference, I much, much prefer the warmer tones. They're not quite as harsh on your eyes. They give off a little bit more of natural light and they do make your skin look a lot more natural. However, if you are gonna be using a green screen, then the colder lights are probably better for you as they'll give off more light and you'll also be able to chroma key out the background a lot more easily using the colder variants. I just prefer warm lighting. I feel like if I can't get out in the sun, then I may as well use my key light to catch a tan. Just a heads up, I don't think that can actually happen. This isn't gonna cause damage to your skin. And if you are like me and already have the Elgato Stream Deck, they have actually integrated the control center and the key light to the Stream Deck, which means with one click of a button on your Stream Deck, you can turn on and off your key light. And if you have a personal preference of what you like your temperature or your brightness to be, you you can also set that up as a hotkey on your Stream Deck and all your preferences will be saved whenever you go to stream or record. Also using the multifunction key, you could set up to go live, turn your lights on, 
and send out a tweet that you are going live so you are fully prepped to stream, which is so handy and something that Elgato does so well. I know that this is really gonna change my setup. As I said, I was working with either natural light before or just my ceiling lights, which were awful to work with. And just to let you guys know, if you are in the UK like me, one of these lights will cost you a hundred and ninety pounds. I do think I'm gonna go out and buy a second one just for the fact that I don't have the space and I think this light is so easy to set up and is so slimline that it is really worth it for me at that price point. I know people have said it's quite steep for a light, but I don't have that space to compromise with. So the Elgato key light just does it for me. But thank you guys so, so much for tuning in. If you would like to learn more about Elgato's products, hit the link in my description that will lead you through to their site and you can go check out everything they have on offer. And once again, big thank you to Elgato for providing me with this light so that I could get this video out to you guys. Thank you all so much for tuning in and I will speak to you all in my next one. Bye guys.